Kevin Devin, Devin Bell me real quick. I mean, none of these uh, guys that got a little time. I guess the ones here in the scrimmage, kind of what are you seeing in him right now? Uh, you know, like like most of the guys, you know, he's had a pretty decent fall camp. Uh, you know, he's working hard like the rest of them and trying to do everything we're asking him to do. You know, in his fall camp, you know, it's kind of getting to the point where most of them are kind of ready to line up against someone else other than their own teammates. But, uh, but he's had a good fall camp. Bellamy's a guy, though, that just because the guy's ahead of him, we haven't seen him much. Is that going to change? Uh, if he keeps, you know, practicing, doing the things in, in, in the Coach Bruce defense, you know, there's not really a depth chart. He uh, he likes to play sort of by committee, you know. A lot of it depends on how you practice that week. Uh, like I said, he's had a good fall camp, so, you know, if things keep going the way they're going, you know, he, he, he you know, has some significant playing time. But, uh, you know, again, that could go from game one to game two and change based off of how well the guys practice that week. So, Is he running with the ones, or is that kind of a, a – You know, I mean, we, we, we don't really have a depth chart. I know that's, you know, it's it, – and it alternates. It alternates by practice. Uh, a lot of it depends on how you perform. If you perform well in the last practice, you game may, may get moved up. If you don't perform as well, you may get moved down. Um, a lot of it's just organizational. Um, but, you know, every guy has been, you know, with the first, second, the third group, depending on what we're doing that day in practice. How many guys do you feel comfortable with right now to be part of the rotation? Uh, you know, there's probably uh, there's probably four guys that have got the opportunity to play, you know, in some role or capacity or depending on, you know, how the game or who we're playing offensively, uh, how that shakes out. And then, you know, uh, you know, we'll probably travel guys that will uh, also play some special teams that might kind of gradually work into some of the game plan throughout the season. Are you not counting shoots yeah. or are you not counting kind of Floyd in that fourth? Well, you know, Leonard's in there as well. I mean, there's that's five. You know, Leonard's working, you know, a couple of different positions, you know, which uh, which kind of helps um, open up some opportunity for other guys to kind of go out there and work a little bit. But, uh, you know, there's, you know, you've got young guys and the freshmen that have come in that have worked some too. And, you know, and again, we have different packages. So, you know, as you, as you change packages, the guys on the field change also. So it's it's kind of a revolving door depending on, you know, what type of offense we're facing in the business situation. Kevin, uh, Jeremy said you'll be up in, up top again in the booth this year. What is exactly your role, the way you're synchronized with getting uh, – do you suggest things or you see or and it's his final decision? To come yeah, basically it? kind of I'm sort of his eyes in the sky, you might say. Um, Try to, I give him down the distance. I tell him, you know, where the ball's at, kind of what's going on, give him a feel for things, you know. Uh, if it's a good play, bad play, tell him what happened from us, you know, from the offense perspective. Uh, try to call out the personnel, uh, the formations, just so, you know, sometimes it's not as easy to see. I mean, up, upstairs you got a pretty good view. So, uh, and there'll be times, uh, you know, make suggestions and things like that. But it's, you know, he, he kind of knows what we're doing overall. But then, you know, we all kind of have a voice in the matter, and, you know, Rock, Nick, and everybody. So, uh, you know, our graduate assistants will help, you know, on some of those things. Everyone's got a part that they watch, and then it all kind of comes together uh, right. in between series, too. Does Leonard Flood look comfortable and effective wherever you put him, whether it's inside, outside, star? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good, Good player. We've heard a lot about Jake Gaines at the inside linebackers, but obviously Chukes has that same experience. Not quite as old, but uh, you know, what's he meant to your guy, uh, to your defense, and to your position specifically? Um, you know, coming in, you know, he he had, he's kind of moved, you know, about halfway through the spring to outside, and that's and that's a lot of things we do. We we train guys in multiple positions to kind of create some depth, and uh, and he's starting to mature as a player a little bit, um, and uh, you know, he's brought some in the last. Probably week, you know, he's had a little more mature, I guess, practice from what I'm saying, where he kind of is, is comfortable with that position. Uh, but he is a guy that can play multiple positions, so it does give us the uh, the option, you know, if we get to that point. What are you looking to get out of Lorenzo Carter in his second year? You know, uh, we try to train all of our guys to be every down players, first, second, third down. Uh, you know, last year he was sort of a third down specialist, you might say, and gradually his role increased as the season went. Uh, I'd like for him to be an every down player this year, um, you know, and again, that's, you know, it's it's not the traditional, hey, he's a one and he's a one until someone beats him out. It, it's going to change. It can change by the play in practice. It can change by the play in a game. Uh, but you got to show up and perform every every practice, every game to be able to kind of keep a, you know, a starting role, but it might be what it is. So.